viewers welcome to Ahmed coaching and I'm your teacher Dr. Anam today we will study about molecular scissors restriction endonuclease in the word restriction endonuclease restriction mean to cut while in word of endonuclease endo mean inside and nuclease mean as the word ace is here it means these are the enzymes and they are going to cut nucleic acid that is why they are nuclease okay the restriction endonucleases are the enzymes which are going to cut the nucleic acid from the inside for example we have the dna here or the nucleic acid here the restriction endonucleases they will cut the dna from the inside but not from their corners okay so that is why they are called endonuclease the endonuclease they are going to cut the dna at specific sequence not randomly for example here we have our dna and they are going to cut it at a specific site at a specific sequence for example we know that dna is made up of four nucleotides for example adenine thiamine cytosine and guanine so these restriction endonuclease they are going to read the sequence and find out which sequence is suitable for them and then they are going to cut that sequence so they will cut at a specific site after recognizing the sequence and they will not cut randomly they are also known as restriction enzymes so there are three words for them one is molecular scissors restriction endonucleases or restriction enzymes so if anyone is using any of this word you can easily understand okay they are referring it to the restriction endonuclease or restriction enzymes or molecular scissors now one more thing is why they are called molecular scissors because they are going to cut the dna just like a scissor moreover they are doing it at a molecular level that is why we are calling it molecular scissor okay the restriction enzymes they are going to cut the dna at specific site which is known as restriction site or the site of cutting so the restriction site is a sequence of approximately six to eight base pair base pair means nucleotide so six to eight base and nucleotides they are arranged symmetrically in the reverse order and these sequences they are also known as palindromic sequences so here for example we have this restriction endonuclease eco r1 this restriction enzyme is going to cut at a specific site which is known as restriction site and this restriction site is a palindromic sequence we said that the palindromic sequence is six to eight base long so you can see one two three four five six and then it is in a reverse order reverse order mean that one strand if you read it from this side or if you read it from this side they have the same sequence for example here we have g a a t t c if you read it in this way and then we have again g a a t t c if you read it in this sequence so this is a palindromic sequence if you study it from the right or if you study it from the left they have the same sequence so this eco r1 is going to cut like a scissor at a specific site and then you have a restricted dna with the nucleotides cut it from here the restriction enzymes they are natural enzymes it means they are naturally found in the bacteria and it was first isolated in 1970 from the bacteria by o smith why they are present in the bacteria because the bacteria they are using these enzymes to cut the viral dna as soon as the virus infects the bacteria and insert its dna inside the bacteria these restriction endonucleases they are going to attack on the dna and then they are going to cut the dna so to prevent the infection from the virus so this is how the bacteria they are protecting themselves from the viral infection to this date approximately 3000 restriction enzymes they have been identified or discovered and these 3000 they are identifying uh, 230 different dna sequences dna sequences like this now the endo um, nucleases they are used in genetic engineering to construct the recombinant dna the recombinant dna mean that you are going to take a dna from 
two different sources for example one source is human and the other source is bacteria you are going to combine these two dna materials by but you need to cut it from the rest of the dna so that function is performed by the restriction endonucleases the restriction endonucleases they produce two types of cut one is sticky end and one is blunt end the equar one is producing sticky ends because here these nucleotides they are free and they can easily stick with the other nu uh, nucleotides or with other dna while in case of blunt ends no sticky ends are produced for example if the enzyme cut it from here so you will not have any nucleotide free this is called blunt end the sticky ends they are very helpful in the insertion of foreign dna into the vector for example here red one this is our gene of interest you can see this part here they are the free nucleotides just like them so they are the sticky ends we cut the dna with the restriction endonuclease to get these sticky ends similarly we also use the restriction endonuclease to cut our vector and here we can see the vector also have sticky ends now this sticky end and this sticky end they both are going to combine with each other and in this way they are going to be ligated with each other or the foreign dna is inserted into the plasmid to form recombinant dna in which one dna coming from one source while the second dna is coming from another source so this is what restriction enzymes are and this is how they are helping in the recombinant dna technology or genetic engineering so that was all about our lesson on molecular scissors restriction and nuclease if you have any question related to this topic you can ask me in the comment section if you enjoyed this video like it and subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next video